This is Tota. He's a caveman. One day he was walking in the forest and all of a sudden a large noisy sphere appeared out of nowhere, sparkling and blinking. Just like Terminator movie would have said Tota if he had seen Terminator. The sphere disappeared quickly and left a smoking black box on the grass. Tota was curious. He waited for the smoke to calm down and went ahead to explore the box. It was a heavy thing with two buttons on the side, one with an X and one with an O on its face, a long hole and a lever. Being a caveman, Tota tried to touch it, kick it, smell it and roll it around. The box was obviously not alive, but the buttons intrigued him. Tota discovered an interesting thing. If he pushed X once and O once, then pulled the lever, then O would glow for a moment, then X would glow for a moment. Did I tell you that Tota was remarkably smart? Top of his cave. He then decided to push the buttons in the same way as they glow. O, then X, then pull the lever. The box answered again. Tota repeated the new pattern. There was another answer. When Tota pushed the last pattern, the box beeped and produced a ball of lightning, scaring Tota immensely and putting the tree in front of him on fire. So now Tota had this weapon of sorts. He killed many animals with it and enjoyed many meals near a fire. Soon he discovered more patterns. One would create some noise he really hated. Another would spit a long leaf with markings and others would do nothing at all. Once Tota found an even more advanced feature of this device. He wanted to make fire again, but instead of just pushing the lever once, he pushed and held it. When he released it moments later, no fire came out, but both X and O started blinking. He desperately pressed O and they stopped blinking. From then on, simple O and the lever push produced the fire, so much easier and faster than before. He realized that he had trained this beast, just like he trained a baby wolf one day. So, what is this thing? Of course, Tota calls it Boom Boom, but we can clearly come up with something better. At first, one might think this is some sort of overly complicated weapon. But it does some other stuff, like music and even printing. And it's not like a home appliance, although some washing machines are more complicated to operate. Let's start with the buttons. Seems like the machine understands certain combinations and doesn't understand others. We don't know the meaning of the buttons and combinations, so I want to call it code, as in I have no idea what this is, but it probably means something. Some codes work, some don't. Just like in our speech, some sounds mean something and others don't. Language seems like a good word for it. This machine understands certain language of codes. Okay, how do we call this machine then? Code language understander? Understand sounds important to us, but the key thing about this machine is not that it just understands, but does something as a result. It understands the code for fire flash and immediately produces the fire flash. So it's more like code language performer. It performs some actions. The guy from the future who sent this thing to the Stone Age might call it differently, but we today would definitely call this machine a computer. That's how we call machines that accept code and perform some actions. You might think this is a terrible computer with some terrible code. Today we have these magical devices with awesome features and programming languages with easy to read codes like this. By the way, you will be able to write and understand this easily by the end of the course. And yes, nowadays computers are different, but not too different. We haven't yet explored this machine thoroughly enough, but trust me, fundamentally they are the same. Just like this is very different to this. Both use the same principles and capable of the same thing to different extent. So we can keep looking at that weird machine and understand something important about computer programming in general. First, computer understands a particular strict language. Random pushes don't do much, only certain combinations work and one tiny mistake in a pattern breaks everything. And second, Computers are really stupid. 
you might think this last part is due to this particular computer being weird and underpowered, but I am really talking about computers in general. They are very powerful, but very stupid. Make no mistake, all they do is perform whatever we tell them. No magic. But, of course, for TOTA it's magic indeed, just like some modern devices are magic to us, unless we learn computer programming. Fortunately, this is exactly what we are going to do in this course. 